Hey, welcome back to the channel. Excited to show you another phenomenal AI tool and talk a little bit about how this might apply in local government, business, and really this is a tool that can be used for anything. This has applications beyond just local governments, can be used for literally anything, but I love local government. I love the world we work in here. So I want to show you this and show you how it can be applied for local government. So if you're a fan of AI and local government or one or the other, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If not already subscribed, leave a like if you don't mind and have a uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this tool. So excited to show you this. Let's dive in right away and I'll show you this phenomenal tool called Cobe AI. This one is just a game changer, folks. This is insane. You know, one of the things I run into when I'm doing AI work or like working with ChatGPT, which I love to use or Claude or something like that, I have these really long conversations that at the end of the day, it's like 40 plus pages on a certain topic that I'm going into. And then, you know, sometimes I have that ADHD in me. And so trying to go back to a part of the conversation, sometimes my mind wanders off. I'll be on a sub thread and then all of a sudden another sub thread comes over here. And so I'm going back and forth, up and down. I love that little quotation mark feature on chat GPT. I can ask questions directly about the content, but that makes my entire conversation just all jumbled. And it's hard to remember where things are and where things go. Or that's where this Cove AI thing comes into play because it's a non-linear workspace. So this is just absolutely brilliant. I love this. I started using it right away last week when I first heard about this. And I cannot wait to show you this. So let's get started. And I'll show you with this right now. Cove AI, and it's just cove.ai. I didn't pay for anything for this at all. So there's no real cost to start this stuff. They might have some premium features. I haven't explored that quite yet. Maybe at a future date, I'll make that video and show you some of the premium features if I, if I get to that. But right now I'm using the free version and it is insane how good this thing is. So you have this thing. Here's your home. You can have your different spaces you have here. I'm going to create a new space right here. And you can see we have different you know, preset prompts if you want to or something like that. For this one, I'm going to do help me create a strategic planning event slash seminar for my team in the city of Nogales, Arizona. And I probably should specify that we work for the city of government, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll clarify that here in a second. We have the event overview, gives me some different ideas for venues right here. Okay, so I'm going to say this. I'm going to say we are the city of Nogales and we want to create a strategy and visioning for the future of Nogales for the next year. This should be a one day event with city executives and department directors. Okay, it's going to update some of the stuff here. Okay, so here we have it. And I can actually move these things around here too. So I can click and drag this stuff around if I want to. I can move this guy right here and have this guy off the side over here. Makes it a little easier for me to see. I can move the whole thing back and forth if I want to. So let's do this here. Let's grab some icebreaker activities and do some new details about this right here. Okay, so some basic icebreaking thing, not too exciting, not too crazy there. So let's do something else here. And let's say, let's go back to our session here and look at something up here. Cause I wanna I wanna add something specific about, about what we're doing here. So recommended venues, we got that there, that's fine. And for the one day plan here, I want the theme of this of this uh, retreat to be focused on economic development and how the city can support small businesses. Each department should be coming up with ideas for how they can do that. Okay, so updated that plan right there. Okay, updating the agenda as well too. Okay, it's all done here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it here because I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to grab this guy right here, the opening address on economic development, and I'm going to say create a outline for this presentation. 
And this is where the AI capabilities come in right here too, right? So here we have it. We could do this for every single individual session there. We could do the exact same thing. We could also do this one. For instance, we could say departmental brainstorm ideas for supporting small businesses. I'll grab this guy and say, create an outline for this. It will be presented by the police and fire chiefs. So we'll have a little bit of a, of a public safety flair to this. We'll see this done here in a second. Here it is over here. Let me grab this and I will show you this here, what this, what this is going to look like. I'll drag this over here. All right. So department collaboration, police department's role in supporting small businesses, all these different things here, right? Action plan initiatives. We could also add right here, we can add some images of the economic development statistics. We could click on this link right here and it'll add some economic statistics as well for us too. And again, all this stuff is right here, right at the tip of our fingers. I don't have to go back and look for different ones. I can add these different cards and go beyond that. I can add new cards if I want to, which is just, to me, this is just a, a phenomenal way to organize information, to look at ideas, especially these big, huge ideas that aren't always linear, right? A lot of the things we work at in local government are not linear topics. They have these different avenues and they, they, they run into other areas, right? Even a single department, think about how many times you, as a department head or working in a single department, you're still interfacing with your colleagues across your entire organization, across your entire city, your county, your state. You're working with everyone together in collaboration. And so this is a tool that really helps me to visualize that, to see that, to have different ideas, to be able to go deep into one of these individual cards, then also to add new cards, to go beyond that. It's okay. That's a new card altogether. It's just a really, really fun way to organize stuff. And it looks messy right now. It looks a little convoluted. So if I go like this, I can zoom out. You can see all these different cards here, how we could add more cards, different stuff. Looks kind of messy. But again, that's what we do a lot is it's not always linear. It's not always organized and piece by piece. It's these messy ideas that come together to create a beautiful picture that makes local government what it is. It's everyone working together, not on their own thing, but really truly working together, working collaboratively, cross-departmentally to get something done. So Cove AI, go take a look at it. Phenomenal. I absolutely love this thing because again, this allows me to organize my AI thoughts in the same way that my brain is organized too, which is just a jumbled mess a lot of times, but I love this tool. It's quickly become my favorite. You could see some of the AI features in there. We could obviously click and drag PDFs or images into there. We could add URLs to there, to different things. It's just a crazy cool tool. Hope you like this. Hope you like this video and this channel. If you do, please again, subscribe, leave a like, leave me a comment below. What do you think of Cove AI? Have you seen it before? Have you used it before? What are your thoughts? Is there anything that's cool that it can do that I didn't touch on? I'd love to learn from you and how you might be using tools like this. Is there something else like this out there that you like to use? Let me know again in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Until then, be well.